Hello and welcome back to our podcast Talk Nutrition with Atieno. I'm your host Atieno. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic and that is nutrition and its role in helping you get pregnant. Whether you're just starting to plan for a baby or you, you've been trying for a while, this episode will provide you with valuable insights on how to boost your fertility through diets and supplements. Let's get started. Let's talk about why nutrition is crucial in during preconception period. And what do we mean by preconception? That this is the time when you want to now start trying to get pregnant. It's actually before you get pregnant. So before that, you should be prepared in terms of your nutrition. Why? It is crucial for you and the baby, right? So a balanced diet can help regulate your menstrual cycle, improve egg quality, and create a healthy environment for a baby. And this isn't just for the ladies. Men diet matters too. Healthy sperm is just as important, so both partners should focus on nutrition. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode is for you. Because you'll find our societal issues, they're they're cropping up nowadays. Even nowadays, what's popping up is... um, let me start by what caught my eye. And it's been trending. Nowadays we are hearing it everywhere. Even it's in parliament where they want to pass a bill. I don't know if they've passed it yet. But it's about um, DNA. Doing the DNA tests. Because you find the, there are issues to do with fertility. Or maybe the just other underlying issues. But me I'm focusing on fertility which will help uh, married couples or couples who are trying to get pregnant to do the right thing and that will help them try to get pregnant because to be honest one of the factors that uh, promotes going out of your marriages or there's so many factors And one of them is infertility and fertility. And this is what people don't get to talk about as much. I don't know if there are counseling services for couples trying to get pregnant. Very many couples try to get baby, to get a baby or try to conceive. And you'll find that maybe they have infertility issues and for those who get to know this are those who go to hospital and they both agree both partners agree to go to hospital so that they can find out what is her what is happening however other cases people decide to take matters in their into their own hands and now it it has resulted to now this topic of dna because people apparently are raising kids who are not their own that is one of the factors they're interlinked but we are trying to do our best to bring up a society of truthful and honest people and also try to help people in a way that they don't take matters into their own hands, which can be costly, because now you'll find, oh, once they find out such information, it it is breaking families. And me, to be honest, I'm a passionate advo- advocate for families staying together, families going together in love, even though there are challenges. Me, I'm, I'm a sucker for love, yeah? <laughs> I know I've brought a lot of stories in nutrition but oh well they are we are all interrelated right they're interconnected in one way or another so it's good to try that's why i came up with this podcast i want to help as many people as i can with the information that i have and the knowledge in order to just help that one person in society to just do the right thing for themselves and for their family
it would be awesome to live in a beautiful world right yeah so huh, let's break down how we can try and help these couples who are trying to have a babies and first of all let's applaud the couples who have gone they've discussed they've stood together and they've decided let's go to hospital and find out what could be happening to both of us it's not a matter of blame game where it's like oh because mostly to be honest how the society has been acting it's when a couple is trying to get a baby and they don't for years and years and years it's always the woman who will be faulted they'll say the woman is the one with the problem and you'll find that that is a lie men could also be possibly having an issue to do with their spams and that's why this uh, episode is important to address this issue so that we include both the men and women in the discussion and try to help them in order to try and conceive and we debunk this myth of it is a woman's problem it is not a woman's problem we both need to take care of ourselves in order to get a healthy baby so both men and women please listen in feel free to share this episode with someone who you might know or know is trying to conceive and they don't know where to go to at least this can be a good step in the right direction but i'll advise you kindly visit our hospitals whether public or private hospitals to get the help that you need so that at least you can get your little bundle of joy it breaks my heart to see people struggle but we are here to give you hope and let's educate each other for us to live the lives that we want to live yeah so let's break down some key nutrients that are essential for boosting fertility number one is folic acid this is very crucial in preventing neural tube defects in early pregnancy it's found in leafy greens citrus fruits and fortified cereals uh, number two is iron which helps with ovulation and can be found in lean meats spinach and beans you can also find iron in your chemists or pharmacies as yeah in tablet form you can also find iron in liquid form even if you go to a health store you can get iron which is very important it's important during menstruation especially for ladies ladies it is very important after your menstruation it is also important to take care of yourself to replenish back what you've lost because yes menstruation is natural and it's a beautiful beautiful thing however after that you need to replenish back your iron stores because you're basically losing blood so it's important to replenish so ensure that once you're done menstruating you don't take the iron supplements when you're menstruating you take them after completion yeah then number three is omega-3 fatty acids these improve egg quality and reduce inflammation good sources are fish flax seeds and walnuts you can find this in the health stores in kenya you can find them in your grocery stores nowadays but i'll advise for you to go to a health store just look for a good health store and you'll find these walnuts and flax seeds they're not out of reach then number four is vitamin d which is very important for hormone production you can get it from sunlight fortified milk and fatty fish now this is the thing with vitamin d you need to consume it uh in food let me try to make you understand how vitamin d works you don't get it directly from the sun but the sun aids in the absorption of the vitamin d i hope you've understood so it's important for you to take vitamin d in terms of supplements and also as food the beauty is that nowadays you'll find foods 
for instance milk that comes as fortified with vitamin D and also you can eat fatty fish you'll also get vitamin D there and ensure that you are exposed to sunlight to help with its absorption also you can find vitamin D in form of supplements so check it out in the health stores you can get vitamin D3 that's the form that it comes with and it has different I use it can be 1000 5000 10,000 and also it is important to note that when you're using these supplements you need to know how much you need in your system that's a story for another day but it is very important I'm ensuring that we're going to debunk everything this will be a whole uh, array of knowledge for you and I hope you'll share and I hope it helps you then for antioxidants that's number five this protect your eggs and the sperms from damage you can include berries nuts and green tea in your diet green tea is not only used for slimming my dears green tea has very many benefits and it's actually very loaded with antioxidants which are very important as you've heard they help with protecting your the sperms and the eggs from damage or inflammation so here are some of the foods that you can consume and i've mentioned a few up there so that is leafy greens that is the spinach the kale the arugula which are all nutrient dense then for the nuts and seeds you can dive into almonds i love almonds walnuts and chia seeds which are great for healthy fats and protein they are rich in omega-3 among others which is a very good source then you can also go for whole grains uh, such as quinoa brown rice and oats which are also excellent sources of carbs that is complex carbohydrates and fiber then for the lean proteins you can have chicken turkey and for vegetarians and vegans you can have tofu then for fruits and vegetables you can include berries oranges bell peppers and broccoli which are full of vitamins and antioxidants while there are plenty of foods that can boost your fertility there are also some foods which you're supposed to avoid during this time and these are trans fats which are found in many processed and fried foods and these can harm ovulation then there is excessive caffeine for the coffee lovers try to limit your intake to one to two cups of coffee per day then for alcohol it's best to reduce or completely eliminate alcohol consumption if you're trying to get pregnant then and that is for both partners then food to avoid number four that is high mercury fish you avoid feed fish like uh, mackerel and swordfish these are high in mercury in addition to a balanced diet you can have certain supplements which can further support your fertility journey and these are some of the supplements you might consider i'm passionate about this uh, because i've been in the nutraceutical industry for a while now so the prenatal vitamins which contain a mix of essential vitamins and minerals like folic acid, iron, and calcium, which are tailored for preconception and pregnancy. If you can get that uh, packet, which is all inclusive, I think that would be amazing, right? Yeah. Then, number two, you can go for CoQ10, that is an antioxidant which is believed to improve air quality and it is also beneficial for older women then number three is inositol which is often used to support ovarian function and i think you've heard of this before it is very efficient for women with pcos that is the polycystic ovary syndrome 
it helps with that to manage that then there's the vitamin d many people are deficient in this crucial vitamin which supports reproductive health so you should consider a supplement if you don't get enough from the sunlight and food then there's the omega-3 supplements if you're not getting enough omega-3 from your diet you can you can do fish oil or flaxseed oil supplements that would be a very great addition like i said go to your nearest health store and find this out then you can go for zinc which is important for both the male and female fertility please ensure you take zinc zinc can be found in brazil nuts it can also be found as a supplement by itself yeah then remember to to consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement yeah visit your gyna visit your urologist they will and also visit your nutritionist those three should work together in order to help you get to where you want to be then here are a few lifestyle tips to ensure that you enhance your fertility as you consume a proper diet or you're eating well and then you're also taking the right supplement you can as well stay hydrated you drink plenty of water throughout the day you also ensure that you exercise regularly you need to keep a healthy weight with regular moderate exercise then you also ensure that you reduce stress i know it can be a stressful time especially if you're struggling with infertility issues or you're just trying to conceive and it's not working please try and reduce your stress you can practice relaxation techniques like yoga meditation breathing exercises visualization you can also go out for swimming do anything that will help you reduce the stress and hope that all will be well then ensure this is something that i cannot emphasize any further that is getting enough sleep aim to have a good sleep for seven to nine hours of each night I know so many people we are in the hustling culture we don't have time to sleep but we have time to party right please prioritize sleeping prioritize sleeping prioritizing prioritize eating right prioritize exercising and you lead a healthier lifestyle you are going to thank yourself in 10 years or 20 years to come because of what you are doing now if you start now you're going to see a, an awesome difference yes 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 i love i love these topics i'm enjoying sharing this information with you uh if you want further information please feel free to contact me using my email address i'm going to leave it in the description box if you have any questions please also feel free to ask me whether privately or in the comment section please feel free to ask and also feel free to share which topic you'd like me to talk about with relation to fertility or any other topic and you can debunk together we learn and learn and grow together right so that's it for today's episode on nutrition and fertility remember when you have a healthy diet and you're also consuming the right supplements which is very crucial these are just pieces of the puzzle if you enjoyed this podcast please follow and share it with others who might find it helpful if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover yeah feel free to drop us a message thank you for listening and best of luck on your journey to parenthood until next time take care and stay healthy bye